Okay, today I'm going to answer the many questions I've got from my colleagues about what tools I use to make fresco. These are examples of the tools, all the tools I need to actually lay plaster and prepare a panel for painting. This is an example of a portable panel. It's on a piece of ceramic tile and it's got two layers of plaster, the Arricchio and the Antonico, which is the final layer, and then the paint. You paint on it while it's wet. This is an example of a wood panel. I do have, you can not you can see a little bit of it, a uh, metal lath on it with just one layer of Arricchio. So these are the tools that I use. And the most important um, is a really high quality trowel. This trowel comes from Pavon. It's made in Italy by Ancora. Both of these are from Ancora, from Pavon. This is the logo. It comes out of, the company is in Chicago, but they bring it from Italy. What's beautiful about this trowel is it's got nice rounded edges and it's slightly beveled. So when you're layering your plaster, you don't get, uh, your, your corners don't hit uh, into the, what you're laying. This is a cheaper trowel that I, you could get at um, some place like Home Depot. This is quite old and it's metal with a really nice wood grip on it. But what makes this less expensive, it's probably more useful for laying plaster in your home, is that it's not beveled, not rounded, but I do still use it. This is another example of one that I got from a, a big box store. And it's really useful for digging out plaster out of your bin. But you can see the general quality. At some point this came apart while I was in the middle of working and it, I had to put it back together while I was working, which is kind of a drag. And that's why something like this is so beautifully crafted. This is about $40 and this is less than 10. These are less than 10. So this is the main one for laying the intonical layer, the final layer. I bought this one as well for um, doing a skim coat, which is a super light uh, layer of plaster. And I got this one also at Pavon. This is about $10. So these are your core tools right here. And you're talking, this is about 40. So you're talking about maybe $75 there. I, you can use just a plain piece of wood for um, a float, and I do use this one for small pieces, but this is a larger one. It's a wood float for when you're leveling at the very end, and um, it's really useful to make, us, make your surface flat and not bubbly. So I might use this on, on the, before I lay the intonical on. There's also a rubber float that I use, and this is on the very final layer of Intonico. I also have a range of other items here, a really nice palette knife, and this is really important to get these nice edges when you're laying your plaster down. You need to use a small, smaller tool. That's what I use it for. And then as you see back here, there's a variety of things that you can use. This is an example of torpedo sand. And I got this at a, where, uh, a, a company that supplies brick layers. And you can see here, this is what I sifted out of this. This is the, would be for the fine layer. Or I could leave this in there and use it for my Arricchio. This would be for the Antonico if I'm going to put sand in it but I have sifted it, and these are the larger pebbles that are in there. They're a pretty good size, but um, I would leave this in there for the, the Arricchio layer. I also have a range of really useful things here. Measuring cup, this is a four cup measuring cup. They're both of these are four cup measuring cups. A teaspoon, this is also useful. Back here I have marble dust. Now this is marble dust that I got from a terrazzo company and it is very fine. It's kind of the, the fineness of, of powder, of a flower. And it's 
what I use to get this super fine surface on the last layer of my frescoes. I also have here a range of measuring cups and um, this is to grind pigments. To clean up you're going to need at least a bristle brush and possibly a wire brush. This is good to scrape um, off of the metal uh, trowel, the old metal trowels. This is just a piece of wood that I use to pounce when I'm mixing my um, my Arricchio and my Antonico. I mix the lime and the sand together and this is just to break it up in the buckets. I also have another measuring cup, a spray bottle which I have only distilled in. This is another bottle that I have distilled in. And here is an example of my um, ground pigments. I, I have ground them and then put water over them. And these, these can last about a month like this. I try to grind the colors I'm going to use. And then I'll show you in a future video how I actually use them. I also back here have a pretty cheap... Um, tub that I just have filled with water. I, when I'm working, I can throw my tools in there. This is an old um, cookie sheet, and I use this 